Hi guys, I'm Aki from BTR Argentina, and today I'm going to show you how you can terraform. You're going to need a Google Earth Pro. So whether you have 3D or not, this process is the same. So if we put our cursor over this intersection, you'll see on the bottom right, it says elevation 11 meters. Now if we go to this other one, it says 12 meters. This one says 9. And this one says 9 as well. So we're going to have to create a slight slope here. As you can see from the looking at section, the block I'm currently looking at is at 31 meters over sea level. And we have to get this down to 9. I'm going to first delete all the terrain down to 9 and then build the slope up from there since 9 is the lowest point in our project. So using cell poly again, I'm going to select the first point here. As you can see, the block I've selected is on level 10. That's because I want to delete everything above 9. We're going to select the second position doing double slash POS2. And use the same command for the third and fourth position. Once this is done, we're going to do replace exclamation mark zero, zero. You can also do double slash set zero, but that causes a little bit more lag. So we're going to go with the replace command. And what that means is replace everything that is not zero, which means air, with air. So now we're going to want to start creating our terrain. What we're going to do is go along the street and see where the elevation changes from nine to 10. Be careful with the trees as they may interfere with your height checking. So once we got the place where it changes, we're going to do control right click and then click to here. The coordinates will show up on the search bar. You can also change the format of the coordinates on the bottom right hand corner. By default, I think it comes in degrees, minutes and seconds. And you can change this by going to tools, options and then clicking on decimal degrees. So now we're going to TPL out to the point where it changes from 9 to 10 and mark that. And now we're going to go to the opposite street and do the same. So here it changes from 9 to 10. Copy that. Teleport. And then mark it off. To go back to normal world edit selection, use double slash cell cuboid. Now we're going to select this point. Select the other point we marked and connect them using double slash line. And as you can see here, we go from nine to 10. Now we're going to do the same thing for when it goes from 10 to 11. Since this corner was at 11, we're going to go towards the 12 corner and see where it changes at. So I took the liberty of extending the lines manually using yellow wool because I want to show you this other command. If you do double slash fill, then the block ID, in this case grass, and then the radius, it'll fill up the area just like that. The yellow wool is to stop the fill command from going to the other height sections. And as you can see here, we have the terrain at nine, here we have it at 10, here at 11, and here at 12. And there we have our terrain. You can fill it with stone, grass, whatever you want to, or you can just leave the lines like that. As long as you build in the correct height, it's fine. I personally like to make it all out of grass because it looks nice. And that's gonna be it for flattening out terrain. I'll see you next episode where we're going to learn how to use the TPLL command. Bye.